What's going on YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 10 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget guys, check me out at Twitch at Gene's25, that I stream all the time, so turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. So guys, in the last episode, we actually defeated our fourth dungeon, the Angler's Tunnel, and we obtained the Surf Harp and these little flippers right here, which is awesome. Because now we can actually swim in water. So first order of business is we just want to make our way right all the way over here. Now that we can swim, it is so much. It just comes in handy so much because there's a lot more things we can collect. But we can actually come in this tunnel right here. And if you actually make your way in here, you can see this little piece of heart just chilling there. You can hit B to dive down into the water and actually grab it. So there we go. Nice little start. But yeah, in this video, we're actually just going to be chilling. Doing a bunch of side quests, getting seashells, figurines, and all that. And then making our way to another little dungeon area that we have to do. But... Right now, we gotta swim back, because we're actually gonna get something pretty big here, which will actually come in handy throughout the rest of the game. So, if we make our way over this way, if we just keep swimming and everything, instead of going right this time, we're just gonna make our way left, and you got this little tunnel with this fish over here. So, let's hop, let's hop inside this little tunnel and see what's going on. Look at this. We got this big little fish boy right here. Look at him. He's hilarious. You actually come up to him, and you can talk to him. I am Manbo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? Yeah, we do got one. Ah, then I can teach you my song, Bloop. So we're like, all right, dude, teach me your song, dude. This guy starts to jam out. He starts singing his song with his little fish buddies down there. Dude, this song is a jam, everybody. Just gets better and better. Look at it. Ooh! <laughs> Yo, these guys are jamming. What? Fire. That was fire. Let's go. But we actually learned their song. You've learned Mambo's Mambo. <laughs> when you get out of the water, play it. So, he's gonna tell, tell us what it does. When you play my Mambo, you can warp to a warp point around the island. Try this tune in Dungeons too. And since today is a special day, I'll let you warp to Mambo's Pond too. Cha-cha-cha! Beautiful, beautiful. So, we actually learned this song, which can just warp us anywhere we don't have to go to a warp point anymore to actually make our way to different places i'll show you guys in just a second so this is going to come in handy for the rest of the playthrough so we can actually pull it out right here and play our ocarina and get moving along with a bunch of side quests but look at this it just comes in clutch anywhere we're at we can just fast travel but right now we're going to make our way down to animal village right now and start doing a couple other things but yeah this thing is awesome it's going to come in clutch so much but as you guys do recall Wait, what? What is this? What is this? We got a ghost. We got a ghost, everybody. So, we're gonna have to figure out what to do with him. He actually, once we come over here, now that we beat that dungeon, we get him. But as you guys remember, we traded the pineapple for the hippocus, the little flower. So now we can actually go inside this building and actually trade it to this little goat person right here. Yeah! This is Christine. Oh, you brought me a hippocus? How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Yeah, sure. I would like you to take this letter to a Mr. Wright who lives on the border of the mysterious forest, please. Alright, man. So we traded the Hippocus for this letter and we actually saw Mr. Wright in like the second episode. So now we have to take this letter all the way back to him. But we will do that in the future episodes and stuff. But we got this ghost traveling behind us and we're like, what the heck is that thing? We really have no idea like what the heck he's doing. So he's just gonna follow us and we're gonna have to figure out what to do with him. But we can actually make our way all the way down. What the? What's this dude's problem? Get out of my face. We actually make our way all the way down here using our Pegasus boots Ooh, to make things a little bit easier. There's just a ton of enemies over here that we don't really feel like dealing with. Get out of my face. But now that we have flippers, we can actually jump into water now and just get swimming around. Make things ten times easier for us. But we got all these whirlpools and everything. And look at it. It's a Zora. These guys are water like swimming things. Look at them. But they shoot fire. Like it's crazy. Oh, he sniped us. The dude sniped us. But we're actually going to swim this way, take a little shortcut by swimming, and make our way over to this cave. And look, the ghost says the house is near the bay, so that's where we have to take the ghost is to, is the little house. Before we do that, we got a couple little side quests we want to do. Get out of here, Chew. What you want, spider? Get out of here. You want this bat? Well, if we make our way inside this cave and dodge all these enemies, you can see there's a cracked wall right there, so we can bring out our bombs and drop a nice little bomb here. Can we do anything with these guys? Oh, they just, like, tank on us. But we actually bomb this wall and we, we can make our way into this aww, <laughs> into this little opening right here and hop up and walk up these steps right here. Now we gotta push all this stuff out of the way. Get out of here, yo, trying to sneak up on us. Push that rock over, hop over here, whoop on this chew. You guys know the deal, you guys know the deal. Get out my face, what did I say? 
And we can push these rocks out the way. Make ourselves a nice little path. But look at this ghost. He's just funny looking. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> he just pops up randomly and, like, tells me to take him to your house. And so we're just like, okay. Now we can make our way up towards this way. And as you can tell, the our little shell finder actually is blinking. So if we pull out our shovel, I believe we can actually start digging around here. So see this little hole? Is this it? No, it's not. Where is it? Gotta be around here. It is right here. Right above the hole, we can actually dig up a nice secret seashell, which is just dandy, everybody. Just perfect. Just perfect. Let's keep moving along here. Anything down here? No, we're actually going to make our way back inside this tunnel. We just came here to grab that nice little seashell. We can actually make our way back over here and actually hop off this clip, take a little shortcut. So then now we don't have to walk around anymore. Comes in handy. Hop back through this wall. And we can actually make our way to the other side of the path, which is down this way. And then there's another opening that leads outside this cave. Let's go, baby. I love doing side quests and all that. I just feel like it's so much fun. It levels us up so much better. Get out of my face. What are you throwing at me? Jeez, you guys are throwing spears at us. Get out of here. What you want? What you want? This guy flies, so we can't really swing at him. But we can actually start making our way down towards this way. And if you come over here, you can see this rock has like a little glowing effect to it. We can lift it up and find another warp point right here at Martha's Bay. But we just open it because we don't really need it right now. And we can make our way down here. And as you can tell, our little sensor went off. But we can dive under the Zoras as they're blocking our path. Come up here. Hit that little piece of grass and grab ourselves another seashell. Let's go, baby. We collecting, baby. We collecting, getting stronger and everything. Let's go. Let's go. So this door is going to come back here. Ah, dip under him. Get out of here, boy. Get dipped. But those things are quite annoying. And we come over here and grab ourselves another seashell. There's two right here. Let's go. We collecting right now. We collecting. And right, now what we want to do. See, that's the ghost talking. The house. Take me. The house at the bay. <laughs> So, we are now going to... Ooh, there's a little heart right there. I actually want to mark that on my map. See it in the water, guys, right there? Let's mark this on our map right here. Should be right here. As you can see, I have a few things like marked on my map and all that. We're going to mark that heart on our map. But we're going to do our Pegasus long jump and slash out that grass right there. So we can make an opening for us to do it again and land here. And make our way over to this little stairwell that will lead us down into a different area. But look at it. Look at this, guys. We got these piranha fish. We're just going to hop over them and say, see you later. Get out of here, boy. And as you can see, there's another piece of heart down here. We're going to dive down and collect it. Let's go. Look at all the stuff we're collecting. And, guys, that is our fourth piece of heart, which will actually give us another full heart. And as you can see, we got another row of hearts. So we started our second row. Look at all the hearts we have in the top left corner. Grooving along with all these little side quests and all this. We can actually... Oh! I didn't want to rip on him. <laughs> He's electric. I just wanted to hit the grass and stuff. But making our way through this path, if you actually make your way down the second stairwell, we get this little area again. And as you guys remember, last time we brought it out, we got bomb upgrades. But we got to light the little torch, and the little devil will come out. Look at him! <laughs> hey, kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. Hee <laughs> hee. Are you ready? Yeah, don't give us more magic powder. So, like, he sees it as, like, a punishment for us, but it's just an upgrade for us. Hee hee, you deserve it. Now look at all the junk you have to carry. Ha, take care. See you again. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> but now we can actually make our way out of this little area right here. And start making our way back over this way. So we're just gonna... Oh, what's this dude's problem? What's this dude's problem? We just gotta make our way all the way back this way in order to move along with this little mission with the ghosts and all that. Get out my face. Get out my face. Get away from me. <laughs> hey! What's this problem? <laughs> Piranha's just ripping on me. We can make our way back out this little area. Start moving along with everything. I'm gonna do a spin attack real quick to knock out a lot of this grass. Do a Pegasus boot long jump to get back here. Now we can start moving along. So this ghost is still following us and everything. And now we have to take him to his house, which he says is near the bay. So if you make your way back into this corner right here, here's his little house. We we did it. We did it. <laughs> here, enter my house. I got you, big dog. I got you. But I'm gonna steal your rupees from your grass real quick. All right, so now that we enter his house, He's actually just gonna like start spazzing out, freaking out, like, oh, I love this place. <laughs> Look at him. This is like a little cutscene going on right here. He's like going up to his bed. He hasn't been here in years. There's cobwebs all over the place. This place is a mess. <laughs> but it's his home, so I can't judge. <laughs> Look at him. He's just checking everything out. Nostalgia. Unchanged. <laughs> this little ghost is so funny because like we just spawn in the animal village. And he pops up and he's like, take me to the house. And you're just like, what just happened? <laughs> oh, look at him. He looks like he's going to cry. Look at his eyes. 
That's so funny. <laughs> Boo hoo! He just floats around, takes it all in. I don't think he's been at his house in a while. He's just been sad. Enough! Cemetery! Take me! My grave! So now he wants us to take him to his grave, but as you can see, the little sensor went off, so if you throw that little pot at that pot, we have ourselves another seashell. <laughs> but like he was saying, he wants us to now take him back to his grave. So, the only cemetery I know is back all the way up at, uh, near, like, Dompe Swamp and all that. Dom is it Dompe Swamp? But Dompe's area. But we're gonna bring out our ocarina and now do a fast travel point. And we're gonna go to Mambo's Pond, which is right outside of Dompe's shack right here. As you guys remember, the cemetery's right over here. We grabbed a piece of heart from it, like, way back when, like, a while ago. But we're actually gonna warp to this place now. And this is actually gonna come in clutch, because I want to get something here that we lost in an earlier episode is we come over here to crazy tracy's little shack right here and we can buy her medicine once again so what this does is actually it uh when you die it revives you kind of like a fairy but the fairies don't do that in this game but she got charges cheaper last time it was like 40 some it is only 28 rupees this time which is not bad at all so when we lose all of our hearts we will be revived so it just comes in handy it's always nice to just have on hand so as you can see in our inventory we have now had it we have now obtain it once again in the bottom right or bottom left corner but now we can actually make our way back down here we can go take mr ghost to his grave and all that get out of here huck that rock get out of my face get out of my face start hucking these rocks and all that and make our way this way to this side of the cemetery there's actually two sides but this is his side see the one with all the roses and we got the little sensor going off again we can actually start chopping all this up and grab ourselves another secret seashell which is just awesome let's go Let's get it. But now, we can actually walk him up here and take him to his little cemetery grave right here, which is just awesome. He actually sneaks up and starts walking on this little thing right here. Go, buddy, go! Get it! Look at him, he's so happy. Thank you! A jar for you! Put something inside! Bye-bye! So there we go, we do all that, we take him to his house and back to his grave and now he is all happy and everything. And he actually gives us another jar that we can start carrying more fairies in and all that. Which is just awesome. Let's get it. Let's get it now. Mr. Al is going to come back to us and all that. Actually, talk to us once again. See what he has to say. Hoot! It has been some time since our past cross, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the Catfish's Mall. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward. Hoot! Yes! Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Okay, so now that the owl tells us to go to Catfish's Mall, which is our next dungeon that we want to head to. But before that, we're going to head down here, in this little area right here. Because there's something down here for us. We can actually just start hopping across, knock this little beetle off the ledge right there. Get out of my face. And actually pull out our bombs, which we can actually just drop one right here. Oh, no, I didn't want to head up the stairs. Come on. Why would I want to head up the stairs? I don't want to head up the stairs. There's a piece of heart just chilling there, as you guys can see. We're just going to head right here. We don't want to push all that stuff, because then it'll mess everything up. What we actually want to do is actually do a Pegasus long jump. There we go. And then do a regular jump over here in order to grab ourselves this piece of heart. Let's go. Dude, just racking up everything. So in order to get out of this little section, it's pretty simple. You just push these rocks down. Throw them down there. Say, get out my face. And now we can make our way out of the little cave there. Now we can... Bring out our ocarina one more time because there's actually like a few more things I want to do before we end off this episode. But we're actually going to fast travel now to Yukuku pra Prairie and head back to Mabe Village. Because you guys know what's at Mabe Village. We got the crane game. We got to go get, get something from there. A little collectible. So let's just charge up our Pegasus run and all that. Make things a little bit easier for us. And get grooving along to it. How many rupees do we have? We have 600 rupees. We're actually going to need about 300 more in order to get an item. But I know exactly where to get some. Some, like, a good amount. But we're going to make our way to the crane game right here. And pay the rupees and get our item that we need. So if you make your way in here, as you can see, there's a nice little boo figurine. That is what we want in the top right corner. Give it to me. So these ones are kind of annoying to get because the pass always moving back and forth. But we got this. We got this. We're going to go X all the way up. That's money. Okay, we just got to time this just right. We're going to go now. Come on. Come on. Come on. So it's actually good because when it moves back and you still on land, it slides in just like this. And then hopefully we can grab it perfectly. Let's go, dude. Money. Money grab. First try, baby. 
Let's get it. As you can tell, I'm getting better at the claw game every time we come here. Because, like, the first time we did it, it took me so many tries. It was just, like, such, like, an awkward kind of thing to do. Challenge again? Nah, we're good. We're good. This is all I came here for. Just give me a holler whenever you're in the mood sh strikes you to play. Cool, cool, cool. Now I can pick up this boo figurine, baby, and take it to the pedestal that it needs to go on. Let's get it. Let's get it. So where this has to go is basically where most of them go. There are a lot of stands all the way up here. So we're just going to run all the way up here and make our way into this little house right here. Because as you can tell, which ones do we put in here? We put a couple of them in there. I think maybe two in here. We put the spiny in here. And I thought we put one more, but I guess not. I thought we did put one more. But if you make your way over to this little stand, it says, is this a stand for something? It says boo. Place the boo figure here. Yeah, we want to place this. But there we go. We place the boo, the boo figure there. We can actually start making our way out of here. Next order of business is we actually want to make our way back to the library. Because as you guys remember in like, was it the first episode, I believe? In the first episode, there was just a book chilling in the library. But it was on the top shelf that we couldn't get. Oh, no, I hit the chicken. I hit the chicken. Let's get in here. You don't want to hit the chicken, so I'll start attacking. But like I was saying, there was this book that is just chilling right here that we cannot get. But in order to get it, you have to actually have the Pegasus boots and run into the wall right here to knock it down. Beautiful. Now we can check it. The Hidden Power of Color. Do you want to read this book? Heck yeah, you want to read it. There's a new world of color under the five gravestones. Three, four, five, two, one. So this is what we have to do. We got to go to the gravestones and find the five gravestones and move them in certain order. So we have to move one down, two to the left, three up, four to the right. So it's down, left, up, right, up. So down, left, up, right, up. Okay. Down, left, up, right, up. Okay, cool. Try with all your might and you may open a new path. Are you worthy to receive the color of power? What's, the, what's this world of color about? Maybe you should try and see it. Okay. So now with that little secret message right there it kind of gives us a code to what to do next so what we actually want to do is bring out our ocarina once again and travel to the cemetery to unlock this secret little path so where do we want to go we're gonna go to mambo's pond real quick no 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 oh yeah, yeah mambo's pond works i was gonna go to dompe's shack but they're both like basically right like next to each other so it's fine it's not a big deal Making our way back to the prairie right here. We can actually just pick up this rock and head into the cemetery. What was it? It was down, left. It was down, left. I think it was down, left, upright. But hold on. We'll figure it out when we get here. But as you can see, all these have si like six. It has six cemeteries, six cemeteries. This one has four. This one has five. So this is the one we, we want to do. So it's down. Ah, get away from me, ghost. Get away from me. Left. Up. And I think it's right. And then up again. Hopefully this is it. We push it out. And yes, it is the secret path. It unlocks this little path right here. Which actually unlocks a mini dungeon called the color dungeon. Which is has such a good item in it. But we'll actually be taking that on in the next episode. As I defend off these ghosts and all that. I don't think they die. But we're going to be taking that on in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the color dungeon and receiving a brand new item. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.